Okay, so I want to talk about this concept of confirmation bias. And it's a really good thing to talk about on Halloween because it's about how we get deluded. We don't see reality. We see things that may be scary because that's how we see it. Uh, that's the idea. Confirmation is confirmation bias is we see things the way we see them. Um, so maybe you're driving down the road. It's confirmation bias. You're driving down the road. You look over there. There's a pond, and you see a duck, and you keep going, and you saw a duck. Except for the next day, you're driving down the same road, and you have a flat tire, and you look out there, and that's not a duck. That's a stump. I, but our mind does plays a little trick. Let's simplify things, make things a little bit more efficient, and we just see them the way we see them, and we make quick decisions, and we learn to see things a certain way. So um, we learn to see like animals. If you're a birder, it can be hard to see a bird until you do some birding or going out hunting. And it's hard to see deer until you learn to see the deer. Over time, we learn to see things a certain way. We grow up in families in a certain culture or certain familiar patterns of how things work, and we assume that's how things are. And so we go out in the public and somebody says something to me. It may remind me of how I learned to listen to my father, my mother, my environment somehow. They said something, but I heard it the way I heard it. I didn't hear the reality. And I say, why are you talking to me that way? But they weren't talking to me some kind of way. Or maybe I'm, I'm talking to a friend and they say, uh, that was a nice thing to say. And I think, oh, I thought it was mean. We're hearing things differently. We're seeing things differently. Um, so confirmation bias is this idea of we see things the way we see them. So take it one step further. We filter things out. We filter things out such that they are more self-serving. And then we begin to see what we're looking for. And we, we look for things that confirm our reality as we see it, which may be things that make me angry. So something in me kind of likes being angry, and I get a big rush when I get angry. Or maybe I look for things that prove I'm a victim and the world is not fair. And so that's what I'm going to see in the world. I'm always going to see how things are unfair. Or maybe even something crazy like nihilism or meaninglessness or real depression. And it's like, that's what I see, that there's nothing happening in the world. Everything is bad. And, and that proves how I see the world. Now, here's, here's the tricky part. How do I begin to notice that that's how I see things? Um, pain is going to be your teacher. I'm sorry, but pain is going to be your teacher. And so if we can disconnect a little bit, we've learned to see things. Our brain has become wired a certain way. What fires together, wires together. We, we learn to see things a certain way until we can interrupt that process and stop and say, hmm, I heard it this way, but... Maybe you didn't hear it this way. My buddy Will told me one time, Will Bacon said, you always think that way. And he was right. I was thinking like a victim in that situation or thinking somehow that something wasn't fair. And it struck me as like, you know, I do. That's how I think. And maybe that's not reality. Maybe I can question how I'm hearing this or how I'm experiencing this. And so moving away from confirmation bias, moving away from seeing the world the way I see it, I might be able to interrupt and question how I see it. And I want to throw a word in here, wonder. I wonder why I was thinking that. I wonder why I did that. I wonder why I saw it that way. And I can question that, interrupt the process, and begin to see things differently. Begin to hear how other people see it. Begin to see it beyond my own experience and that's a wonder if I can begin to see more information in the world. I've already narrowed it down. I've filtered it down such that I'm not seeing much stuff. And if I can begin to wonder, I see the wonder of the world that is around me that's available to me if, if I can just stop. So confirmation bias is this wonderful cheat that is very efficient, saves a lot of energy, and we can get things done. But it also is that part that puts us in silos that I either listen to this news source or that news source. And um, then, then all we get is that one piece and we're not getting the larger amount of information. So um, the ability to question myself and the ability to wonder, why do I always see things this way? And why do things always happen to me? And if you've ever said, I knew that was going to happen, then you are definitely guilty 
of filtering out things and seeing the world a certain way. And really, that's when we bring that stuff to us. I, I hate to talk in that sort of magic uh, manifesting way, but we do bring stuff to us as we see things a certain way. So I want to broaden out what I can see and broaden out the possibilities of how I can engage life. And really, uh, as I am the center of my life, I'm the director and things are happening around me, then I can have more music, live more in harmony with the world around me is if I can see all of it and stop seeing it just the way I see it, but instead wonder, why did I see it this way? Interrupt the process of stimulus and response that that happens. It always happens that way and I'll react this way. I want to interrupt that and be able to see myself objectively and uh, change what I'm getting. This, this is the main thing I'm going to say to you. Look at what you're getting. It must be what you want. I don't like saying that, but I have to live by that myself. I, I want to challenge you to notice what are you getting? Is it what you want? If it's not, try to see the world differently and see what other possibilities are there for you and begin to get different things. I think you can do that. I'm trying to do that. Meditation is a good way to stop. Uh, listening to Gus is a good way to focus my life a little bit. Um, so I think you can do that. See the broader picture. See yourself in it. See the broader possibilities that you have. Be well.